my life. I'm 22, I'm short, I'm 5 foot 10. I've uh, been under 82 and a half. Uh, just graduated as a student. Uh, competing for about two years, uh, training for about five at this stage, haven't I? Uh, recently in Scotland, I squatted 202 and a half, uh, benched 155, and deadlifted 250. I'm uh, a national champion, champion in Ireland two times running, um, 2012 World Single Lift Silver, and 2013 World Full Power Lifting Silver. Uh, I'm training using a uh, small off row, one off row, I find it's quite simple, I, I like high volume. Uh, my first competition was in Gorey in uh, January 2012. Um, I'm not really adapted to being good at lifts. I seem to be getting a bit stronger compared to other fellows I was training before, so I kind of stuck with it. Uh, fun to have, but I never really have them at home, I'm generally by myself a lot, so. But they do give you the extra little boost when you have them. Uh, jumping into things a bit fast, like over progressing and you know, uh, not understanding the little things that come, like good technique and proper uh, accessory work. Um, in Scotland, uh, some guy who was ridiculously big, deadlifting 320 without a belt uh, during his warm up. What did he do in the competition? No, I didn't see him. I think I was warming up when he was lifting. Okay. Was he in the 125s? Big, big guy. <laughs> Senior. Probably, yeah. Uh, consistency. Like, there's uh, very little people progress well by making big jumps. It's all little daily jumps and weekly jumps. Okay. Uh, dedication and consistency again. Staying at it. The average is the rule jump. Give up and get this out, but the champion just keep going. Yep. Professional is, uh, I was awarded last year, I was awarded the first um, sports bursary in Ireland for being a part of it. Uh, yeah, well, I was actually just, uh, just freestyle weights first, just normal weight training. Um, just naturally stronger and certainly heavier than the rest of the people, so motivated mm -hmm. that. Oh. More of my own mentality that I'm very neurotic about it. If I don't do something, I'm very, I get very itchy about it, I have to get it done. Uh, calories probably four and a half to five thousand, and uh, I eat uh, every three hours. Do you so, count? Do you count your calories? Yeah, uh, just to make sure I have enough for you. Like I, okay. I'm very consistent with eating. I'm nine, twelve, three, six, nine. I eat on the hour when I'm meant to. And what do you eat then? Is it the carbs and, and protein uh, or? Yeah, rice or pasta and the chicken and this and that kind of. Uh, very more for my own well-being than anything. I'm very neurotic. Okay. I'm fat when I was younger. I'm gonna say chicken pasta. Do you, does, does it not get boring, no? It does a bit, but there's curry sauce, air pasta sauce. You can mix things up really well, it's just like that. Is it hard to eat 4,500 calories on just chicken and pasta? Because. No, it's hard to restrict myself from eating other things, that's the only thing I find hard. But is, you know, like, um, would it have that kind of calories in it, the rice and the pasta? Yeah, eating enough, yeah. So every three hours you'd have a, a good meal? Yeah, well, like, first one would be breakfast. Okay. And the porridge, hot or cold? Or? Hot. Okay. Uh, the usual, like orange cordial inside that. Orange cordial. Yeah. That's, I don't get that. that sounds very strange. Uh, you don't put ketchup on your ice cream or anything, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ketchup and ice cream. I don't like food, but mayonnaise. I don't like mayonnaise at all. Mayonnaise, you don't yeah, like it? Disgusting. Um, do you eat peanut butter? Yeah, a lot. You do? Yeah, a lot. Do you like that? Yeah. Crunchy or smooth? <laughs> and you do smaller for all three lifts at the same yeah, time, all don't you? Yeah, three lifts in the same workout, so... So you got, you got superior recovery, really, to mere humans. So I've been told, yeah, like my 10 by 3 sessions would take like three hours because I'm doing three lifts together. Very good. I see, so I just either get up earlier to go training when I have to be somewhere, or else, and in college I was always getting abuse and uh, jokes from the lectures when I was pulling out a lunchbox in the back of class, so I kind of travelled fairly well with it. 
start off with the basics. Um, a lot of people try and jump into it and uh, forget, try and just get a, a strong bench press, but don't realize you know, there's a lot of shoulder movements and everything involved. They just concentrate on the one pattern instead of involving other groups. So they'd only bench and they wouldn't maybe do shoulder presses yeah, or, press or dips or, or chin ups or anything yeah. else? Um, people staring at themselves in the mirrors or else wearing tank tops where your armpit comes out like here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You think people probably, excuses. they're wimping out a bit, yeah. are they? Excuses. I feel tired today, so I won't train. <laughs> Do you ever feel tired and train anyway? Yeah. Okay, and it comes good for you in the end? Yeah. Um, I uh, a pair of squatting shoes, like 15 minutes before my warm-up for the world. I saw that. You deadlifted them in them, I didn't didn't? Know too, yeah. Did that not, because usually they say flat shoes for the deadlift. Yeah, it, uh, I feel a bit more tired as my upper hamstring, but it did, it felt more solid than air. And you PB'd, you got 250 there, didn't you? So Pretty good. Go. Good going. Um, training in the morning, relaxing, yeah, in the afternoon, maybe messing around with walking or something, and uh, moving in a fire in the evening. Um, yeah, I don't know is your favourite quote. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, well, think of something. Make up quotes, it's never give up. And like, consistency is key. Never give up. Consistency is key. That's yeah. good. That's an original one. Uh, that's the last question. So we've done it in under ten minutes. Yes. It's the fastest interview ever. All right. Thank you, Barry Pickett, uh, strongest man in CIT.